hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl tamara and i'm back with another video in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a creamy moisturizing body wash but before we get started if you're watching my video for the first time you're absolutely welcome to my channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button before you leave so let's get started with all the items you will need to make this amazing creamy moisturizing body wash first of all you need an organic unrefined shea butter you can use refined shea butter if that's what you have but personally i prefer to use the organic unrefined shea butter you also need any moisturizing oil of your choice you can use sweet almond oil you can use ojoba oil you can use castor oil or olive oil it's completely up to you but i am using coconut oil for the fact that it is a very good moisturizing oil and it's good for the screen skin is great for the skin and it's also what i have on hand right now so that's what i'm going to use um the next item that you need is vegetable glycerin vegetable glycerin is a great natural ingredient that adds a long-lasting moisturizing feel to many skincare products you also need liquid castile soap base this is a vegetable based soap made from olive oil it's available in both solid and liquid forms but for this recipe you'll be needing the liquid castile soap base either the scented one or the unscented this castile soap base that i'm using is unscented you also need deionized water or if you don't have any access to deionized water you can just use tap water it's completely fine and you'll also be needing xanthan gum as well this is um, this xanthan gum is going to be used for its thickening effect for this body wash you can you also be needing several essential oils you can use any essential oil that you want for, for this recipe I'm going to be using lemongrass sweet orange and lavender essential oil so let's not forget the empty container for storing the body wash in and also the immersion blender to make sure that the formulation is completely homogenized done with all the ingredients and equipment we need to make this amazing body wash we'll then go ahead to make it first thing you need to do is to add two tablespoons of melted shea butter two tablespoons of coconut oil and one tablespoon of vegetable glycerin into a bowl sprinkle one teaspoon of xanthan gum into the oils and the glycerin mix and let it rest for about one minute one minute the xanthan gum should sink into the liquid and then you transfer into a bigger bowl and then you blend using an immersion blender to make sure that the mixture is homogenized
the next thing to do is to measure out one third of a cup of deionized water and warm it up in the microwave also measure out one third of a cup of castile soap and then you pour the water and the castile soap into the mixture and then using the blender you blend for another one to two minutes making sure that the mixture is homogenized while you're doing this the mixture will turn into a creamy lotion like consistency if the mixture is too creamy for your liking or too thick for your liking you can add an extra one fourth of a cup of warmed deionized water and castile soap one one fourth of a cup of castile soap as well into the mixture and continue blending till the mixture is homogenized that you have to transfer the body wash into the container and since um, it's very creamy and it won't be easy to pour directly into the bottle I'll be using a piping bag to transfer the body wash into the empty container um, just a quick note this body wash that I've made is only for a few days and that's why I have not added any preservative but if you're going to make this in larger quantities um, that means you if you intend to use this product for a very long time or you intend to sell this product then you definitely have to use preservatives in this recipe um, the ingredients that I used can be easily gotten from Amazon or eBay so I'll leave a link to all the ingredients including the preservatives in the pre um, description box below so now that that's done it's demonstration time so my friends we've come to the end of today's video I hope you guys loved it and if you found this video helpful or informative in any way do not hesitate to give me a thumbs up or like this video before you leave don't also forget to share this video with your friends and family and every person you think would need to see this video um, I love you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you've got any questions or comments let me know in the comment section below I will always engage you guys in the comment section and um, don't also forget to push that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads I love you guys I'll see you guys in my next video bye